Well, as people have been buying in bulk and visiting the grocery store less, we've all happened upon an empty shelf of something that we were really hoping to buy. And our Abby Breidenbach is live this morning to tell us, you know, Abby, meat has been one of those items, but you have some substitutes that people can go to um, if they're looking to do that. That's right, Katie. Yeah. In grocery stores across Acadiana and across the country, we've really been seeing that they're low on meat. And I know this probably has some people really freaked out, but I spoke with a dietitian as well as a girl who's been vegan for a while now, and they assured us that there are plenty of ways you can get your protein and feel full without eating meat. Most people eat meat for the protein. But when you can't get your hands on chicken or steak, there are countless options to fill the void. Eggs, beans or legumes, and some nuts and seeds. Um, so those are other options for meat. And while the real thing is flying off the shelves, you can still find some pretty close replicas. Jessica Ellis, who has been vegan for about a year now, shared her favorite. You go to the Beyond Burger. When you pull it out of the package, it looks like a burger patty. It looks exactly the same. And you put it on the grill or on, I do it in a frying, frying pan. Um, same as you would a normal burger. It even, you know, has juice like a normal burger. Smells like it, tastes like it. This can satisfy a major craving when there might seem no better option. But dietitian Daphne Olivier says be cautious not to overeat any meat substitutes. They're usually highly processed, so it's not a whole lot different than having like a, um, a chicken nugget or a chicken patty. Just because it's, it's higher in protein doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good option for you. For those of you worried you won't be full after eating a meatless meal, Jessica and Daphne have experience with foods straight from the ground that will do the trick. Mushrooms are really good. Mushroom, you can make a mushroom steak. Some good healthy fats, so things like olives, avocado, uh, maybe even some coconut to some extent. Those are healthy fats, and that can also help to fill you up. And then also fiber is, is very filling. Now coming up a little later on this morning, we'll have another word from that dietitian teaching us how to stretch your meat a little thinner so if you do have some meat left in the fridge but you couldn't find any that you wanted on your last trip to the grocery store you can stretch it a little thinner spread it out for more meals and we'll have tips on that later on all right abby definitely really interesting um and you know i've tried some of the veggie burgers like them but i know you were saying that like probably not the best option to eat them all the time